Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.1, number 29. And in this problem, we were given a vertex and a different ordered pair on our parabola and asked to find the general form for our parabola. So since I'm given a vertex, I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the vertex form of the parabola, which is this equation here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 2 for my x value, for my h, and I'm going to plug in 3 for my y value, my vertex, my k. And so you see that happening here. That's why I have this equation, f of x is equal to a times the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus 3. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now take, and let me just change my pen colors here, I'm going to take the 5 and the 12, and I'm going to plug them in for x and y. Oops, that's not the x. Let me do it. I'm going to plug them in for x and y, and then that's going to allow us to solve for a. So that's what you see me doing down here. I plugged 12 in for y and 5 in for x, and now I'm looking at a linear equation where I can solve for a. So this is just some algebra allowing me to solve for a. And when I do that, then I can take this equation here, right? If I know a is equal to 1 now, I know f of x would technically be 1 times x minus 2 squared plus 3. And that's what you see me writing here. And to get it into general form, that's fancy math talk for, hey, why don't you foil this out? So if I look at x minus 2 times x minus 2 and then plus 3, that would be x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus that 3. These are like terms. And that's where I'm arriving at this equation. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.